In this video, we're going to cover the gates, fields, and the mask for a typical Maya camera. So whether it's for a perspective camera or an orthographic camera like our side camera, we have the ability to bring in gates, fields, and masks. To access those, we're going to go to each one of the camera's menus. And right below the menus on these icons right here, we can select our gates. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off my grid in both of these cameras so they don't get on the way. And you will see to the right of the grid, we have the film gate and the resolution gate. As soon as we turn one of these on, and I'm going to use my resolution gate, you will notice that our mask is now available. You access the resolution gate by going to our render settings, which is this icon right here. And when we bring up our render settings, we have the ability to change the resolution of our camera. You will find that under image size presets. So I'm going to select an HD format. And that is because HD 540, HD 720 and HD 1080 share the same aspect ratio. Notice that now we have a resolution of HD 540. You can see the resolution on the top of the camera. So if I switch to HD 720, notice that my resolution has changed now, but the gate is in the same place. The proportions are the same. The only thing that has changed is the resolution, which you can see right here on the width and height. And then if I go to 1080, notice that nothing has changed other than the resolution. So when you animate, you want to do all of your work at 540, and then when you're happy with your results, then you want to render at 1080. So we're going to go back to 540. I'm going to hit close. And next we're going to cover our masks. Masks are only available when you have either the film or the resolution gate. When we click on the mask, you will notice that the outside of our resolution gate gets darkened. If I go to my perspective camera and select the gate, same thing. To modify your mask, you need to select the camera and go to the attribute editor. So we're going to select the camera. You can go to view, select the camera, or you can click on this icon right here. Once the camera is selected, we're going to go to the attribute editor. And in the attribute editor, we're going to scroll down to the display options. In the display options, we have the ability to change the color of our gate. Right now I have set mine to black but you can pick any color by clicking on the swatch and then bringing up the color history. Next, we're going to dim down the gate. You can either have a mask that's 100% black or you can dim it down so that you can see what's outside of the gate. I tend to set mine to either 0.5 or 0.75, depending on my needs. In this case, I'm gonna leave it to 0.5 and I'm gonna do the same thing for my side camera. I'm gonna select the camera now the attribute editor is for this camera and I'm going to change my gate to 0.5. Next we're going to talk about the overscan. The overscan is the area around the camera. So if I select my perspective camera right now and I go back to the attribute editor, I'm going to scroll down to the display options until I see the overscan. If we turn off our resolution gate, the mask will go away and you will notice that the camera is going to zoom in into our scene. I'm going to turn the resolution gate again. The overscan reduces the field so that we can see either a lot around our camera or very little. If I type in one, you will notice that the field has gone all the way to the edge of our camera. If I move the divider between the cameras, you will notice that with an overscan of one, this gate is always going to adhere to the camera. I don't like an overscan of 1.3 because I have a lot of wasted space around my gate. I like to go down to 1.15. So I'm going to do that same thing for my side camera. And now the attribute editor is for that camera. So I'm going to type in 1.15. So now both of the cameras have a resolution gate and a mask. Next, we're going to talk about our fields. For the fielding, Maya provides three fields. 
The first one is the field chart. And this is a traditional camera field chart, also used for animation. To the right of the field chart, we have the safe action. And to the right, we have our safe title. The difference between these two gates is that you want to keep your action with inside of the safe action field. And your title sequences, you want to keep them inside of your title save area. So for play blasting or animation that you want to put in your demo reel, you don't need the fields. And this is the basics of the Maya camera's gates, fields, and masks. <laughs>